Hello, bro. Hi. <laughs> Forget about my smile. I'm just trying to be professional on oh, the job. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> All right. Um, should I say a poor result or a frustrating one for Chelsea against Wolves? Seeing a side that has created so much chances and yet the conversion rate is nothing to write home about. Just too bad that we had to get punished by Wolves for our like a dastical attitude in front of goal. So I would like to get your thoughts on this uh, matchup. Okay, um, uh, at this point, football pundits and uh, researchers might just be like, they don't know what is wrong with Chelsea. I think it's that so, so difficult. It is a hard nut to crack right now to find out what is really wrong with this club. Because individually, you might say that these players are okay. But then, what are the issues? For a club that, hey, before the start of this game, they were just so, so happy. They were so energetic, feeling so nice that they will go to the Molyneux Stadium as Wolf, go to Wolves and get a victory. A ground where, they've forgotten that a ground where Tottenham couldn't get a win. Neither the champions of England. In fact, the champions of the world right now, Manchester City, couldn't get a win. I don't know what is wrong with Chelsea fans out there. I don't know the kind of... What they inhale. I don't know. Feeling that you go to Molyneux and get a victory. Okay? And you've been losing away. I think this should, this should be the, the fourth on the, on the, the stretch. Fourth okay. This should be fourth. Between fourth or fifth. Okay. Yeah. On the stretch. And I don't know. If I somebody even today now <laughs> telling me that Chelsea... We we'll qualify for Europe. <laughs> that we should, we should. As if we, we do you know that they, I don't understand the ginger. You think we are talking about 20, 2005, Mourinho? You think that's what we are facing now? More times have passed though. People have moved on. Chelsea have moved down the ladder with the lower clubs out there. But fortunately for Chelsea, they are sitting pretty on tenth position. And kudos to that. Before Christmas, you guys on 10th? Man, hey, you've been following <laughs> on, the, on 11, but now, I don't know whether magic just happened, and I'm seeing Chelsea now on the 10th. Sitting pretty, 22 points, with even the worst that beat them today, 22 points. But then something also happened, something remarkable happened. And it is good for Chelsea fans to use this and go for Christmas. What happened? Chelsea scored a goal today, and that made... They are goals for and goals against are no longer equal. Beforehand, it was 28 um, uh, considered, 28 um, uh, scored, goals scored. And all of a sudden, just to say, okay, please, our fans, have this for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Manage us the way you are seeing us. <laughs> Take this goal and enjoy your Christmas. And they scored one goal. And fortunately, it came from their prince, their new prince, the new prince of the bridge. Christopher Kuku. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, um, a tough, a tough, a tough uh, Christmas Eve for Chelsea fans out there. And this is the first time in the Premier League history that a game will be played on the Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Yeah, that's true. And look at what Chelsea did to their fans. <laughs> oh my God. If you know any Chelsea fan out there, please <laughs> go out there and give that person a hug. If you can't give that person a hug, please send that person some money. Because <laughs> at, <laughs> at this time, Chelsea fans are going through a lot. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, you said something about uh, Nkunku. Do you see more to come from that young lad? Oh, sure. Nah. He's, he's world class. He's world class. But unfortunately, world class come to Chelsea and they become local class. I I hope, I hope things work for him. But will he be the only man to move Chelsea up from where they are right now? The answer is no. There's a whole lot of work that needs to be done in Chelsea. Did you see the second goal by Wolves? Did you see that second goal that uh, Badi Ashile had to had to just trap the ball? I, I think get a uh, back here for. No, it, a, back. It, was, it was actually a mistake. The ball, yeah. the ball just hit him and then played into the part of the world striker who hit Would it. Would you think it hit him? I know mistakes happen in, 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 in the run of play. But then, you could even see that there was an intention to play the ball. You could say, yeah, a mistake. But then, the two goals that Chelsea considered today, you don't, a top club don't concede such goals. Yes, we understand that. Clubs make mistakes. Okay? But then, 
if you want to um, um, do well in the league, your defense must be top notch. Arsenal, like I told you, Arsenal is not doing tremendously well. But then, they found a way to have a very good defense this season. If Arsenal repeated what they what they played last season, same way, they wouldn't have been at the top of the of the table before Christmas. Look at what happened uh, yesterday with Liverpool. You saw how they were defending their lines. Mm. You saw how Arsenal played yesterday. They were not. Look at Nketi. All those the front liners are not scoring. But then the defense is doing a very good job. Manchester City has scored more than Arsenal. Liverpool has scored more than Arsenal. Aston Villa, I think, or maybe equal right now, more than Arsenal. But then, defence is, is, is doing the lo- a whole lot of job for them. And that is where I think Chelsea needs even to <clears throat> make sure that they, they, um, they make it work first before we now start talking about the misses that their strikers have been... Oh, my God. It was, so, it was just so terrible. Look at the Sterling. I know things like that happen when you have two more players by your right. Okay? He had a and decision to he had a yeah, decision to make. Just square the pass. I understand too that some coaches will be like, okay, you over here, whenever you get the chance, you have the right to do anything you want. But then these guys are not messy. They are not the Ronaldos of this world. Why don't you just at a time like that, just square the ball, please? Square, square. Let the other person just tap the ball in and let the goal ring for, um, ring for you guys. But unfortunately, that did not happen. So, a whole lot of fundamental issues happening with Chelsea. You now ask, should they sack the coach? Sack coach again. How many coaches do you guys want to have in the space of two years? Mm. Tough time, man. Tough time. And uh, <clears throat> what a way to go into this Christmas. What a way, what a way. Uh, yeah. To disappointing for Chelsea and its fans all over the world. But uh, what can we do? We can hope for a better second half of the season coming from this one. Let's see how it goes for us and to every other Premier League team struggling. All right, thank you so much for being on this platform. But uh, before we go, what advice? Hey. I know, I know, <laughs> I know it's somehow, it's somehow asking your enemy for advice, but <laughs> most especially one who always picks up on Chelsea. So if there's any advice we have to offer Chelsea and uh, the management, or let's say the players, because I'm not even seeing the management at, uh, as a factor here, what advice would you give to them? Stay fit, at least. Yes, um, mind you, in situations like this, especially the holiday like this, people tend to marry. Yes, I understand you should marry, but then in, in, in the crisis, with the crisis Chelsea are facing right now, you don't have to over-party. You don't have to over-stress your body. You don't have to over-drink. You need to keep yourself very fit. Because this Yuletide, this uh, celebration period, we have uh, 39 games in 19 days, meaning that a whole lot of games will be played. So, for all Chelsea players out there, you need to take responsibility. You need to make sure that your body is fit. You need to come back after uh, Christmas. From 20, see, from next tomorrow, games come back again. And that will have it to be till the, the weekend of FA Cup. Yeah. So, a whole lot of games to be played. So, every Chelsea fan needs to be fit. And for the Chelsea fans out there, <laughs> try. Try. I know it, it, it will not be easier. Well, try and enjoy your Christmas rice and chicken. All right. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.